Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a radial line chart in Tableau. The version that I'm using is Tableau Desktop Public Edition 2020.1.3. Alright, let's start by connecting to some data. Alright, so if you see here, we have four columns. We have a index column, we have a country name column, a regional indicator column, and lastly a ladder score column. The index column indicates the order in which the data is arranged in our data set. The country name is the country name. The regional indicator is what region the country lies in. And the lastly, the ladder score is simply a measure of how happy each country is out of a score of 10 based on some predetermined attributes. For the sake of this uh, tutorial, it's not really relevant how we got to that number, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, but what I want to highlight is that for a radial line chart, uh, you need you typically need two basic attributes, and those two basic attributes are something to uh, is a value to to determine how high these radial fields are going to go, and also something that dictates order so that Tableau knows what order to put these lines in around the circle. And so in our case, what I've done is I've manually created just a random uh, an order value into our uh, data set. Uh, other versions of an order value could be date um, or I can only think of date for now. So so anyways, uh, this is our data. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a union. Uh, the reason why is because Tableau, uh, a radial chart, is essentially just two dots connected by a line. And so we're going to have to trick Tableau into creating two distinct dots for the same set of data. Okay, so we're going to do that. To create a union, you just drag the sheet over itself, and it'll create a new uh, new column called table name, and it will populate those fields with the original file name. And when it is done with the original file name, it will indicate where the union took place. So after 153, after Singapore, uh, that's where the duplicate data comes in. So you see here WHR20, CSV1, okay. All right, now to visualize. So to visualize, uh, it always involves uh, the following seven uh, elements. You're gonna have to calculate the path order. You're gonna have to set the radial inner and outer parameters. You're gonna have to calculate the field angle length, and then lastly, the X and Y axis. So let's go ahead and do those seven. So first thing we're going to calculate is the path order. All right. Use an if statement. We're going to reference that table. Gosh, that was ugly. We're going to reference that table name that that table name column that we just created from the union. We're going to reference the sheet. In our case, it's World Happiness Report 20 CSV. And any value from the original sheet, we're going to give a value of one. Anything else is going to be one, or we're going to give a value of zero, anything else is one, and that's going to be our two dots on our radio line chart. Okay, uh, it is not a measure, it is a dimension, so we're going to set it as such, path order, okay. Now we're going to set the parameters uh, for the radial inner and outer. Radial inner is 0.5 for now. You can change this whenever, it's not really relevant. It simply dictates how big, uh, how small or large the circle is going to be. So 0.5 for the inner circle. For radio outer, we're going to set as one, and I'm going to spell outer right. Okay. After that, we're going to dictate the radio field. Uh, the radio field once again is how intense these lines are. So, the new calculation radio radio field is going to just simply measure, in our case, the ladder score. Uh, okay, dokey. All right, and then we're going to calculate the radio angle. So because it's always the same seven elements, it's actually a little easier if you just copy and paste the same uh, for the, the formulas down so you can copy and, yeah. It is easier for you to just copy and paste all the formulas down and just use them over and over again. And as long as you use the same uh, titles, it should be fine. So we're gonna do the angle. We're gonna do the normalized length, all right. And then finally, the uh, x and y axis. Oops, not the parameter. Radio x. 
deal why and because you signed to do it you sign so the science and math behind what we're doing here is well documented in a few blogs online I'm not going to go into it because I just want to show you functionally how to create it but um, the resources are out there for you to do it okay so first thing first let's set the uh, x and y axis get things ready um, this is once again a radio line chart so we're gonna have to use line there we go we're gonna set the path order here so it knows that we want to do inside outside uh, if you notice here that the radio y values are on the horizontal axis and radio x is on the vertical we want to flip that around okay and then after that now so it has the two dots you see here dot one dot two and it's connected it now we need to do for the entire circle and in order to do that for every value we have to tell it what that order field is so in our case it's the index field okay so index it's a dimension because in our case uh, the index is not like Uganda is not worth seven times more than United Kingdom uh, seven is literally the, the dimension that it's that it represents so that's why we're moving uh, index to dimension and because we want to calculate the circumference of this we actually have to make the index a continuous value not a discrete value okay but I see here nothing is changing so the next thing we do is do the calculations create a circle so index index and we're done this is your radio line chart you can do some things to make it pretty so you can format it you can remove oh, rows columns oh I'm in the wrong one that's why rows nothing reference lines I'm always bad at this grid lines none there you go all right so this is your radial chart um, if you look at the tooltip it's not super helpful so why don't we get some stuff in there so let's put the name in there the ladder score all right so this one is Norway with a score of 7.48 its index value is 23 so if you look at the if you look at the index value it's going down because that's telling you, that's telling Tableau the order in which you want to arrange the lines. So it starts here, United Kingdom, and it goes counterclockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that is your uh, radio chart. If you want just the circle, you can change this to 0 0.2, for example. Now it's really small. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger, four, five, okay. So of course, you can now uh, play around with it some things that you can do with it are of course, of course color it you can color it by the values so ladder score by color change it to something a little bit more pronounced there you go that's one way of doing it you sort of tell uh, which ones are large which ones are not okay uh, alternatively what you can do is you can also arrange it by perhaps a region because for our data in particular we have a region indicator, so maybe you just want to indicate what region they're in, which you can do the same. So region here is a, so right now it's set as a, um, a string, but region is actually just an area, so we're going to change this to region color. Okay, so now it's set to the different regions, but the problem is this is an attribute, not a dimension, so set it like that and so get your your values back and so if you want to see all the North American ones there they are see all the East Asian ones there they are for our data set for example so that's one way you can do it um, one thing you might ask is okay well how do I arrange it so that they're all next to each other or maybe how do I arrange it from largest to smallest honestly I haven't figured that out it's a bit manual and so what I mean by that is the way I do it is I go back to the raw data and make changes there and so let's just say for my data, I want to arrange it so that uh, all the regions are next to each other. I would manually go into the data and do it there. So I would sort it by, I don't know, sort, sort it by region. And then this is where I would sort of give it a, a value. So um, uh, it's, you know, for the sake of, I'm just gonna do this. So for Central 
Central and Eastern Europe and common in independent states. I'll set it at that. And we'll just drag this randomly down. Sub Sahara. Okay, make this three. All right, do that. Okay. We will refresh the data. Yes. Okay, let's try that again. Wait. Oh boy, how did I break this? Path order index. No, that's odd. It should be happy. Uh, let's see what's going on. Index. Path order. Let's flip this around. Radio X. Index. Continuous. Hmm, something's going to be weird. Oh, oh gosh, I, I completely spazzed out. I know what happened. You just range it one by one, two, three, four. That's all I have to do. Shoot that. There you go. Then if you do region, color, change that to attribute. There you go. And that's how you do something like color. So like I was saying before, um, if you want to like play around some of the coloring, especially has to do with order, like in terms of like ordering what, what's next to what, uh, I just manually do it in the Excel sheet. So uh, in the situation where I wanted to arrange things by the regional region, I just sorted by that and then rearranged the index. So remember, the index tells Tableau where on itself it's going to place each value. So if I want to group all the regions in our example together, I have to first sort it by that and then re-indicate. Likewise, if I wanted to create a radial line chart just based on the intensity of the, uh, the responses in happiness, I would sort it by ladder and then re readjust the in index again. So we'll do here. Okay. Yes. I'm going to refresh the data. So I'm going to get rid of this attribute. I'm going to refresh the data. And it should turn. There you go. And so if you look here, because it's arranged by largest to smallest, it starts with the largest value and goes backwards. Okay. But um, honestly, I think visually for a radial line chart, it's not that interesting to look at something like this. So usually I just like to give it a random value and so that it's scattered throughout. So I'm going to give it a random value. All right. I'm going to sort it and then rearrange it. Do that. So see, it looks nice and spread out. And then just give it some, some visuals. Once again, give it something really nice to pop out on. There's that, you can even change the size of it. Maybe that's a little bit more in your face. There we go. So something like that. The workbook, ship title. Something like that. That is really ugly. That is an abomination. Fixed size. 
All right, why don't we just do 900, 900. There we go. So that'd be an example of how to do a radial line chart. So hopefully you learned